now face today will come in increased numbers in the months and years ahead. I want to congratulate all of you who have chosen the United States Air Force as a career. As far as any of us can now see in Washington, in the days ahead, you will occupy positions of the highest responsibility. And merely because we move into a changing period of weapon technology as well as political challenge, because in fact we move into that period, there is greater need for you than ever before. You here today on this field, your colleagues at Omaha, Nebraska, or who may be stationed in Western Europe, or men who are at sea in ships uh, hundreds of miles from land, or soldiers in camps in Texas, or in the island of Okinawa, they maintain the freedom by being on the ready. These distant ships, these distant planes, these distant men keep the peace in a great half circle stretching all the way from Berlin to South Korea, recognizing that in the most difficult time in the whole life of freedom, the United States is called upon to play its greatest role. This is a role which we are proud to accept, and I'm particularly proud to see the United States accept it in the presence of these young men who have committed themselves to the service of our country and to the cause of its freedom. I congratulate you all.